karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mayo Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya science, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mayo Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. Uh, welcome back friends. Uh, today we are continuing with our last form one topic in chemis and the topic is air combustion fire fighting and lasting kwa hiyo hapa tutazungumza kwanza kuhusu air air ambayo ni hewa pili tutaangalia combustion ambayo combustion ni unguaji na kwenye fire fighting ni jinsi gani ya kupambana na aina mbalimbali za fire na mwisho tutaangalia rusting ambayo rusting ni kutu na jinsi gani tunaweza kuzuia kutu nae kufundisha leo ni mimi Dr. Mlerwa kaa pamoja nami mpaka mwisho wa mada hii ya form 1 chemistry. Ah mwanzo kabisa tuangalie kuhusu air. Air ni nini? Tunapozungumzia kuhusu air. Air ni nini? Air tunasema is the homogeneous colorless mixture of different gases in the atmosphere. Homogeneous colorless mixture of different gases in the atmosphere. A e, homogeneous manake ni kama kitu ambacho vinafanana. Homo means the same. So hii air ni hewa ambayo tunavuta sasa kwa sisi human being tunavuta mixture of gases of different gases. However, we are using only oxygen. Kwa katika mixture gases tunavuta tunatumia only oxygen. Other gases such as nitrogen na carbon dioxide tunaweza tukazitumia kwa ajili ya respiration. So air simply ni mchanganyiko wa gas mbalimbali. Ni mchanganyiko wa gas mbalimbali kwenye atmosphere yani kwenye anga. Now composition of gases in air. Composition of gases in in air. Now the gases include oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and noble gases. Noble gases is hapa ni group 8 tunaenda kuziona kwenye form 2 chemistry ni group 8 na zenyewe hizi noble gases as react kwa hiyo kuna oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and noble gases kwenye air lakini pia air contain water vapor and dust particles kwa kuna vumbi pamoja na mvuke wa maji however they are not usually considered as part of air now the table below showed the percentage composition of gases percentage composition of gases in the air so you can see here gas and here the percentage composition nitrogen is the one which are the highest percentage composition in the air kwa nitrogen na asimia 78 oxygen na asimia 21 noble gas zina asimia 0.9 carbon dioxide 0.03 na water vapor ni 0 hadi 4 kwa ukiangalia e, carbon dioxide ndio ambayo ina percentage ndogo zaidi kwenye atmosphere carbon dioxide na percentage ndogo zaidi kwenye atmosphere ikifuatiwa na noble gas toka hapo water vapor oxygen na yenye percentage kubwa ni nitrogen now note and be here the percentage composition of water vapor is generally caused by moja ni weather na mbili ni geographical location yani inategemea na hapo maeneo lipo ndio maana maeneo mengine unakuta kama milimani ukiangalia vijuu unakuta kama kuna kuna mvuke hivi yani kuna na maanisha kuna kuna ukungu. Ukungu ile manake ni tayari water vapor imekuwa kwenye percentage kubwa. Kwa ukungu manake ni water vapor imekuwa kwenye percentage kubwa. Lakini hizo zote geographical location ndio maana ukuta ukungu mara nyingi unatokea maeneo ya milima au mabonde. Alafu pia weather manake inategemea siku hiyo kuna kuna ukungu au kuna jua kali. Kwa sababu kama siku kuna jua kali manake lazima percentage ya ya water vapor itakuwa ndogo lakini kama siku kuna ukungu percentage ya water vapor itakuwa itakuwa kubwa now let's see some of the test for gases in air test for gases in air so it is possible to test for presence of some gases that are found in air mm, tutaenda kuisoma hii zaidi kwenye topic mbalimbali huko mbele form 2 na hata zaidi lakini hichi ni kitu cha muhimu kukijua huwa kinauliza sana kwenye mtihani japo it's not for form 1 level kuanzia form 2 form 3 na kuendelea mnaweza mkauliza hichi kitu. E, cha kwanza unachotaka kujua ni test for carbon dioxide. 
Carbon dioxide tunajuaje kwamba kuna carbon dioxide? Kwa mfano tunavyo exhale, yani tunavyo exhale tunavyotoa hewa nje. Tunavyotoa hewa nje exhalation hapa tunakuwa tunatoa carbon dioxide. Kwa in the laboratory tuna uwezo kutest kama kwetu tunatoa carbon dioxide. Why because carbon dioxide change the color of lime water. Change the color of lime water on the which gas it change to milk. Kwa lime water hii hapa huwa yenyewe ni calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide na ikiwepo sehemu yote kama ni kwa test tube inakuwa colorless. Ukiwekea carbon dioxide kasha hydroxide reaction yake na carbon dioxide inaenda kuzalisha kasha mkabonite na kasha mkabonite appear as milk milk after a few days when left exposed the conversion of lime water from colorless to milky color indicates that there is carbon dioxide present in air ko pia ukichukua kama watch glass ukaiwekea lime water ukaiacha pale hewani tu utakuta kama baada ya siku kadhaa ime ime change ka lakini kwenye oxygen test oxygen test oxygen it relight a glowing spirit such that when oxygen is collected in a gas jar and a piece of wood that has been lightened has been lightened with fire is also placed within the jar it is going to be relightened because oxygen supports burning or copper turns to black on heating to black on heating because it react with oxygen. Kwa hiyo huo vitu ni kwamba tunavyozungumzia it light the glowing spirit kwenye oxygen hapo. Tunako tuna tuna maana kwamba tunako na maana kwamba hiyo hiyo oxygen kama vile umechukua kisiki cha moto kinachungua kisiki cha moto au umechukua lile kala moto linaloaka ukiliweka kwenye gas jar ile contain oxygen ile gas jar inang'aa ina kwa kama inatoa mwanga kule ndio kwa lugha yetu tunaita kuli light it will light the glowing spirit lakini pia kwenye chemical test ya water water ina change anhydrous copper to sulfate into blue from colorless to blue tunaenda kuziona hizi chemical test pia kwenye kwenye form 2 chemist lakini ambacho inafanya water ni ina change from colorless to blue. Kwa hiyo hiyo maana yake ukichukua kwa tu sulfate ukaweka kwenye watch gas uh, na ukaiacha ndani ya siku kadhaa utakuta baada ya siku imekuwa ina ime change color kwenda kwenye blue. Tenda kuziona hizo kwa ndani zaidi tutakavyokuwa nasoma hizo topics kwenye form 2 chemistry. Lakini baada hapo tuangalie kipande cha combustion. What is combustion? Combustion is a chemical reaction that involves the burning of a substance in the presence of oxygen. Then it produces energy and light. So unakuwa unaunguza kitu burning burning. Combustion involves burning of a substance in the presence of oxygen. Then it produces energy and light. So you burn substance in the presence of oxygen. You produce energy and light. Now when you say a material is combustible combustible manake combustible material is the material that catch fire and burn easier combustible material are material which catch fire and burn easier so combustion takes place in the open place such as fire combustion takes place in the open place such as fire or in a closed system such as car engine ko kama moto ile ile inakuwa ni combustion in the open space lakini kama kwenye car engine ni combustion ambayo iko kwenye closed system. Uh, application of combustion in real life. Hayo yote ni maswali ambayo wanaulizwa kuhusu combustion na application zake. Kwenye application of combustion kwanza kwenye industry. Industry ni kwenye kutengeneza engines za magari, kwenye large boats na kwenye insulators for burning wastes. Kule ambako na inajengwa vijumba kwa ajili ya kuunguzia uchafu lakini domestic yani nyumbani tunatumia combustion kwenye cooking kwenye kupika kwenye heating kuchemsha vitu na kwenye burning yani kuunguza vitu na pia kwenye laboratory uh, combustion inaitumia kwenye sterilization during experiment 
sterilization maana yake tunakuwa tunakiunguza kitu ili kuwa wadudu kwa mfano bacteria au wadudu wengine kwao tunakuwa tunakisterilize tunakifanya kisiwe na wadudu e, kwa video hii tutaishia hapa na kwenye video inayofuata tutakuwa tunaangalia kuhusu fire fighting hey, dr mlelo Asante kwa kuongelea channel ya Dr. Mlelo. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote, waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii.